guys, Coach Michelle here. So I'm back to talk about more money-saving tips on groceries. And I don't know if it's the same in all areas, but I know here the new ads um, come out on Wednesdays for the grocery stores. So like we have um, Winn-Dixie, Publix. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, we have Save-A-Lot, Grocery Outlet, things like that. And their weekly ads come out on Wednesday. So, as a tip of what to do is, if you get the newspaper, a lot of newspapers will have the um, grocery store ads in the paper on Wednesday. Or you can, you know, if you're driving by or you're going to that grocery store anyway, pick up, you know, their ads. But, you can also get them in your email. So, if you, you shop certain stores you can sign up for their weekly ad email or just go on their website and look them up. But here's the thing you can do. A lot of us are used to shopping at the same grocery stores. You know, whether it's Walmart, um, you know, Publix or whatever, we tend to go to the same stores. But what you can do is at least check out the ads for the other stores. Now I know here we have several different stores that are a lot cheaper on most things. Not everything, but on a lot. So um, what you can do is maybe pick a day that you have a little extra time. I know for most people that's rare, um, but you could you know, set a day just to go grocery store, grocery store shopping. So you could like go pop into the different grocery stores and just kind of look at what they offer, what they have. Because we have two different stores here. We have Grocery Outlet and we have Grocery Advantage. Now while Grocery Advantage does have a lot of great um, things that are a lot less than even Walmart or you know when things are in sale, if I go to Grocery Outlet, they have the best deals like on um, fresh fruits and vegetables. Where say like, um, let's use apples for example. Um, apples, you know, tend to be anywhere from like a dollar, say 19, up to three dollars. Just depends on what variety you get. But like at grocery outlets, most of the varieties, they have like six or seven different varieties, and a lot, most of them are under a dollar a pound. So, um, like zucchini and squash. You know, I can get them like at Grocery Outlet and even Grocery Advantage a lot of times for 65 or 75 cents a pound. Where at Walmart, it's $1.67 a pound. Publix is a lot of times it's $1.70, um, $1.80 you know, a pound. So, it's best if you kind of shop around. Um, like I said, take a day and go to different grocery stores. And just check out what they offer. Um, you know, and I know it's going to go by, you know, seasons as far as fresh fruits and veggies as well. But there are certain stores that are always less expensive. So if you, you know, plan your grocery trip and include like certain stores, you could say do most of your shopping at whatever your main store is. And then swing by the other store that has the less expensive fruits and veggies. And, you know, get what they have there. Um, again, check out all the ads. You know, just because you normally shop and it's more convenient to say shop at Walmart. Well, this little grocery store over here that might be, you know, five or ten minutes out of the way. Um, you know, you could maybe go do that like once every other week or something. And, you know, it could save you. 20 30 40 dollars or more just spending a little extra time going to another store and i know a lot of times that's a pain in the butt um and that's why we just stick to one or two stores that are like local to us but if you add up the savings in the long run um it's well worth it so just go check out the different stores kind of see what they have available check out your sales papers every week see what's on sale now, I know a lot of times it's the not-so-healthy stuff that's on sale, but a lot of times um, they do have other options on sale. You know, they have, like, certain fruits and veggies on sale or frozen items or different things like that. So just, you know, just kind of check things out. 
That doesn't mean you have to change, but it's worth checking out to save you a little money that could maybe go towards, you know, saving up for a family vacation or something. So that's my tip for you today. Check you later.